Learn how to keep your dog safe with rattlesnake avoidance training from the Durango Kennel Club this Saturday. Help keep San Juan County clean with the Clean Up San Juan app. And be aware traffic patterns have changed once again on US Highway 550 heading into Durango. You're watching the Local News Roundup, brought to you by Three Rivers Brewery and Home Two Suites. I'm Haley Upsell. Hiking in the Southwest means encountering all sorts of wildlife, some less friendly than others. Durango Kennel Club is offering rattlesnake avoidance training this Saturday, September 16th, to help keep your dog safe while exploring. Led by professional dog trainer, Terry Chandler, dogs will learn how to identify rattlesnakes by scent, sound, and sight, and know how to avoid them. With over 30 years of experience, Chandler uses live snakes to introduce dogs in a controlled setting with the use of an e-collar to simulate a snake bite to reinforce the lesson. The cost of the training is $100 and is not a regular class offering, so make sure to take advantage to save vet bills of over $300. Did you know there's an app to easily and anonymously report illegal dumping sites in San Juan County? Download Clean Up San Juan, and when you see trash, snap a picture and send it to San Juan County. The app is anonymous, although if you do add your contact info, you may be contacted if the location of the dump site is hard to find. Since the app was created, reports through the app have led to 1,853 illegal dumping sites and 700,000 pounds of trash removed from the San Juan County landscape. San Juan County also has 12 rash convenience stations throughout the county. Visit its website to find the one closest to you and learn about the damage illegal dumping can cause. On Friday, September 9th, traffic along US Highway 550 switched onto the new 550 frontage road for the foreseeable future. The change is to enable crews to move the existing Highway 550 and construct the connection for the newly built section of southbound US 550 North and South of County Road 220. With construction still in place, make sure to abide by posted speed limits and directions during the construction process. Learn more about this and other stories online at farmingtonlocal.news. Thank you for watching this edition of the Local News Roundup. I'm Haley Upsell.